Yo! What's up, sexies? I'm Remy, and this is the eight funkiest analog synth bass lines of all time. Doing a video like this is something I've been keen to do for a while, because, you know, it's simultaneously an excuse to play my synths and show off music I like. So, a very appealing duo of activities. So, the gear I'll be using is my Behringer Poly D, my Behringer 2600, my JXAP, and my Volker sample uh, for drums. Final thing before we fully get started is usually these videos are like, you know, subjective personal opinion. Uh, this video is the actual objectively correct top eight. And if you disagree, you are wrong and stupid and it deserves to get shot. So let's get started. All right, first up is Chameleon by Herbie Hancock. It's one of the OG synth funk bass lines. One of the first times someone was like, oh, what if we use the synth instead of a bass? Uh, it was played on an ARP Odyssey originally, recreating it on my 2600, which is a souped up Odyssey. Well, actually, I guess technically a, an Odyssey is a souped down 2600, but you know, functionally they sound the same. It's just a single saw wave with resonance and some distortion. Okay, next up, Ghostbusters by Ray Parker Jr. Something I found out while reading into this a bit, which I didn't know, Ray Parker Jr. did all of his own production and engineering, as well as writing songs, singing, playing since Man was a fucking multi-instrumental legend. Anyway, uh, he used a Jupiter 6 for the bass because he couldn't afford a Jupiter, and I can't afford a Jupiter 8 or a Jupiter 6. So, JXAP. <laughs> Six is More Bounce to the Ounce by Zapp and Roger. Now, common theme that will come up a couple more times in this list is being produced by George Clinton and written by Bootsy Collins. It's true for this one too. Bootsy Collins wrote that bass line and recorded the whole thing in collaboration with George and Zapp and Roger. Uh, it was played on a mini movie originally, so probably D time. <laughs> Number five, Thriller by Michael Jackson. Now they recently um, dropped like a fully in-depth synth breakdown of, of the Thriller album featuring the guy who actually did the bass, I forgot his name. The guy who actually played the synth bass for Thriller breaking down the patch on his original up 2600. So 2600 time. <laughs> Number four is Hotspot by Midnight Star. Now this is a lesser well-known funk track, but I honestly believe it is the single best funk track ever recorded. So I suspect that this one was actually written by Bootsy Collins as well, because he does have a number of vocal features throughout. So he was definitely involved in the production. Even if it wasn't written by him, it's still a fucking tight bass line. <laughs> Number three, 24 Camera Magic by Bruno Mars. Uh, now in the breakdown video he did with the <laughs> homicidal producer, um, he's playing a mini Moog Voyager. <laughs> Number one, Flashlight by Parliament. There's a little bit of controversy about 
this specific base patch. Actually, that's a lie. There's not much controversy, but I think there should be because the only real source that exists out there right now on it is this reverb video called like the synth sounds of Palm and Funkadelic or something. Uh, where they go into the... Oh no, it's the synth sounds of Bernie Worrell. One of them. Anyway, they go into the flashlight patch and they seem to think it's two saw waves stacked onto each other, which is really like shocking to me because it just sounds like such a square wave sound. So what I've done is... Stacks two square waves to each other, which sound a lot more like the real thing. 